Here in Nana Martina just won herself a spot in the finals of the World Team Trial. I know you've worked really hard for this opportunity. How do you feel you're competing right now? Oh, I feel like, honestly, I feel like I could be doing better. I feel like um, my offense has been a little bit slower to start, but once I feel like I'm getting it going, I feel really great. I just keep having that feeling and telling myself, like, I'm going to be a world, or I'm going to be the world team member this weekend. Like, that's my spot. Yeah, you looked as each this last match, as the match went on, you got more and more confidence, you get more and more opening scoring opportunities. Uh, what's going right with your wrestling? Um, honestly, like, I'm, I'm always very confident in my offense, and then I had, like, a great summer being able to train with all the Olympians, and, like, getting those feels, like, I know exactly the million different opportunities, or different uh, varieties of what someone's going to do to my shots, so... That makes me extra confident that I know what's coming no matter what. Vail's a, a pretty experienced wrestler. She's uh, been on the scene for a while. What did you feel from her out there, and what were uh, what do you think helped you get to uh, such a dominant tech fall? Um, I think she's a really good wrestler. I just don't think I'm a good matchup for her. I think she's a very strong wrestler, and I'm very strong, so that didn't really help her out too much. Um, I didn't feel like she can get anything going on me. And uh, my coach was just like, on the whistle, like she's not ready. She hasn't been ready off the shot. So on that second second period, it was off the whistle, right right to it, right to my turn, and just listen to my coaches. <laughs> okay. It's good when you can listen to coaches and then it works right yeah, there on the yeah, mat. Yeah, exactly. We talked a little bit about some stuff, but I have wrestled her before at um, 57. So really, I was just trying not to be too confident going into the match. You know, coming out of college, you had a good college career, but you've really been able to improve on the senior level even after college. What do you think has been the key for you to go from being an excellent wrestler to someone who could be possibly fighting for a world title? Um, definitely being in that room is what put me in a good situation for college at North Central. Um, the coaches just they train you to do what's best for you and not necessarily to any certain style. And the girls in the room are great. Like I'm wrestling 55 kilos right now for seniors, but we have the U23 55 kilo world team member um, Amani Jones in our room. So like I have the best training partners. And um, once I qualified that first year for the Olympic trials after my senior year, um, getting to do like all the camps from that, the senior level stuff, like that that definitely helped me jump levels. Like being able to do that stuff and come back to my room and like rework on that with all the girls. When you look out on the mat, uh, getting to the finals, you got your sweats on now, you're feeling good, ready for one last cut before best two out of three tomorrow. Oh yeah, I've been feeling great. Um, the cut's been, like, not that it was easy to get to it, but once I was, it was, I was it. My body feels great. I, I like, there's no, no complaints. So if I didn't wrestle well, it was just on me. Like, my body feels good, my mind's right, my coaching's great, my teammates are great. Um, we have some girls here who just came to watch, like, that hypes me up, so. I'm really hype and I'm just trying to like cool my mind down, if anything. <laughs> Everything's going well so far. Good luck with the quarter Thank you, thank you.